This is the problem with relying on natural light. <laughs> you can never rely on it. Hello world, what is up? Welcome to another video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dom. And in this video, and probably the next two or three, I'm gonna be talking about the same subject. And that subject is limiting beliefs. So before I get into all that, if you are interested in the whole idea of mindset and motivation and inspiration and changing your life and achieving goals and dreams, then please do subscribe to my channel. I put out a video every week, or I'm certainly aiming to from now on. I put a video out once a week. I haven't decided on the date yet, but as soon as I do, you will be the first people to know. So yeah, do subscribe, find the link below, and then as soon as a new video comes out, it will come up in your feed. In fact, if you click the little icon, the little bell, you'll get a notification as soon as we do publish another video. So first of all, what is a limiting belief? Well, a limiting belief is something that you assume to be absolutely true about yourself or life in general that holds you back from achieving a goal or a dream or an aspiration or anything, or even a belief that holds you back from even creating that goal or creating that dream in the first place. So think of a limiting belief as either a, if you want a barrier in front of you that's invisible, that's stopping you from getting to that next stage, or even like a, a, a massive ball and chain that's attached to your legs and it's behind you. It is stopping you from going forwards because you've got this giant weight in front of you or there's a physical barrier in front of you stopping you getting to that next stage. So where do these limiting beliefs come from and how do we adopt them? So a limiting belief comes from a number of places. So it could be a past experience, something that's happened to you, which has then embedded this belief within you. It could have been an experience from your childhood or more recently. It could even be how you were raised by your parents and maybe it's a limiting belief that they had, which has then been instilled and installed into you or you've adopted that belief because it was so true for your parents, then why wouldn't it be true for you? So that's something that you could have picked up from them. Or it could even be a belief that's come to you through culture or society, something that you've adopted from the world around you. No matter where this belief has come from, this limiting belief, you have adopted it or grown it and developed it from the world around you, and now you firmly believe that it's absolutely true. And because you are saying that it's absolutely true, it's actually holding you back from there being potential other options. So let me give you some examples of some limiting beliefs. So one limiting belief is, I have to go to university and get a degree, otherwise I can't get a really good job. Another example, being overweight just runs in my family, so I'm bound to become overweight. Or, well it's okay for them, I'm just not that clever so I can't go and start my own business. Or even, I have to work 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, and then sometime on the weekend, to be able to make enough money to provide for my family. Or maybe, I'm just never going to find the right partner. You see, the thing with the limiting belief is if you allow it to impact your life, it can really, really badly impact it. So let me use the example of, now this is quite a deep one. This is quite a, uh, a quite a big limiting belief that you might have. And it might be that you, um, when it comes to relationships, you may feel like you don't deserve happiness or you don't deserve to be in a good relationship or uh, you just don't deserve a good person. Well, that can be, a really detrimental limiting belief if you allow it to fully absorb you and you firmly believe that that is something that uh, you don't deserve then every relationship that you go into how is that going to impact your relationship with that person how is it going to impact the connection and the interactions that you have with that person if you always believe that you don't deserve a good person well you could potentially treat that other person as not the good person that you don't deserve or you could always see the relationship as well there's no point in me worrying about this relationship because I don't deserve to have good relationships so this obviously isn't going to be a good relationship and because you then believe that this isn't going to be a good relationship well guess what it's going to become a not good relationship so there's a great saying which is related to this and it's if you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. You could even change that to, if you believe you can, or you believe you can't, you're right. So whatever your belief is, or whatever you feel you can and Cal can't do, and you think that you can, or you think you can't, or you believe you can, or you believe you can't, whichever direction you go, if you believe you can do something, then guess what? You can do something, because you firmly believe that you can. Or if you believe that you can't do something, or if you feel and believe that uh, this negative thing to be true, then guess what? 
negative thing will be true. So again, this could potentially lead into a whole talk about the law of attraction, which I don't have time for in this video. I may address that in the future. If that's something that you'd like me to talk about, the law of attraction and the secret, uh, if you've read the book or heard about the book or the film, uh, please let me know in the comments below. I will go on your instruction. If you'd like to hear my take on the law of attraction, I'm happy to do that. You see, limiting beliefs come in all shapes and sizes in all different areas of your life, whether that's your personal life, your relationships, could even be your work life, your career, could be if you're at school, you'll have limiting beliefs from there, could be to do with family and friends. There are potentially limiting beliefs through all different areas of your life, which if you allow them to, will hold you back and stop you from going and achieving anything that is possible in this world. So how do you identify a limiting belief? Well, the easiest way to identify a limiting belief is think of something that you are feeling like you're being held back from being able to do. So go and challenge yourself to do it. So let's say one of the things that you'd love to be able to do if you could is go and start your own business. But you are holding yourself back from doing that because you have this limiting belief that is stopping you from doing it. Whatever that limiting belief is, whether you feel like you're not clear enough or you just feel like it's too big of a job or you don't feel like you'll be up to the task. Okay, whatever that limiting belief is. So what I want you to do is to challenge yourself. So let's say for example, we were having a conversation and you said that to me and I said to you, right, go and quit your job right now. Phone your boss, tell him you're not coming back in on Monday. Now already in your head, you're going through all of these things, all of these statements that, well, I can't, I can't quit because I need to be making money. I have bills to pay. I need to be doing this. I need to do that. I need to do the other. I've worked for this business for the last 10 years, so I'll be throwing that away. Or I feel like I'd be letting my parents down or my partner down. Or for example, I went to university for five years. I paid thousands of thousands of pounds in order to get this degree, in order to get this job. And I feel like I'll be just throwing all that away. So again, these are all excuses for and reasons why and assumed truths of why you can't go and quit your job. Those are all limiting beliefs and you could probably list a few out of different limiting beliefs that are holding you back from going to do something. So as I said, a limiting belief could be a giant ball and chain that's attached to your ankle that is physically holding you and stopping you from going and achieving that next thing. Or it's a giant barrier in front of you if you prefer. It's a giant barrier in front of you that's stopping you from physically going and achieving whatever it is. So all of your responses to go and quit your job those are all limiting beliefs of why you can't go and do that. Another way to identify a limiting belief is if you find that you're having to justify something. So if you're constantly finding yourself justifying the reason why you're not doing something or the reason why you are doing something or uh, the reason because something is happening. If you constantly find that, so for example, with the example of uh, not quitting my job and going to do something, because I'm not doing that because I will be letting my family down or the reason why I'm not doing that is because I spent loads of time doing a university degree and spent loads of money doing that and now I'm in this career and I've been doing it for 10 years I feel that the reason why I'm not is because that will be a waste of time so if you constantly justify the reason why you're not doing it that is a limiting belief as I said, the easiest way to identify whether you have a limiting belief or not is to challenge yourself or if you're coming with justifications of reasons why you're not going achieving something. So limiting belief doesn't have to be small. A limiting belief can be something tiny or it could be something huge. So it could even be something all the way up to, I don't deserve this. Or, I don't deserve to have done that. Now that's quite a deep level limiting belief and that will have come from somewhere really deep really far back in the past and that's been embedded in however no matter the size of the limiting belief however it impacts you in your life if you absolutely absolutely want to get rid of that limiting belief you can you can change that limiting belief into something that can completely flip and turn your perspective on anything and you can go and do and achieve anything you want I've had so many limiting beliefs in my life, uh, including recently I had a realization of quite a big substantial one and I did some work on it with a coach and talked through a process whereby I completely overcame. I realized what had caused that limiting belief and was able to eradicate it altogether. And now I no longer have that limiting belief 
to the point where I can't even remember what that limiting belief was. Something that for 30 odd years of my life I absolutely believed to be 100% true and now I've worked through it and I can't even remember exactly what it was. I can't remember the exact wording I said to the coach on that day when I said this is what my limiting belief is and I realised what it was. So limiting beliefs are there at the moment that are holding you back but just because it's a barrier that's in front of you or a ball and chain holding you back that doesn't mean that you cannot get rid of them. So before I digress too far on this, that's what I wanted to talk about in this first video is talking about first of all what limiting beliefs are, how to identify them and see if you can identify some of your limiting beliefs. And once you've identified them, in the next video I'm going to be talking about the steps of how to actually overcome uh, those limiting beliefs as well and how to eradicate them from your lives so you can go and achieve whatever it is that you want to go and achieve without the ball and chain or without the barrier. So before you all disappear, what I would love you to do, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you feel like you've identified or potentially identified one of your own limiting beliefs and you don't mind sharing it, by all means, put that on in the comments below. Or if you have any other opinions or thoughts about this video, please do add me a comment below. I will read them all and I will reply to every single one of you. So that's it. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, add me a comment. If you want to catch the next video, I highly recommend you click the subscribe button. Shameless plug. <laughs> click the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and then hit the notification bell as soon as that video comes out you'll receive a notification as I said earlier I aim to put out a video once a week I haven't decided on the day yet but as soon as I do I will let you know so guys that's it for this video I hope you've enjoyed it go and identify your own limiting beliefs and I will see you all in the next video or something that you assume to be true you are going to talk about the same subject but I'm going to address it in different ways the light's just gone so I'm probably the next two or three videos I'm going to be addressing the same topic but I'm going to talk about different aspects of the topic over the next few videos I'm sure there's an easier way to say that split this topic over the next few videos actually and in the next video, couple of videos come on if you are all health in